Hi there, my name is Janie Nicholl and um, I'm a visual artist based in Glasgow. Um, I've been doing um, some projects for Luminate recently and um, unfortunately due to the coronavirus we've had to put them on hold but um, Luminate have asked me to do an activity today um, which is something that I usually do with groups um, and it's really easy to do and I always think of it as a bit of an icebreaker activity because it's so simple. But anyway, hopefully it's quite fun to do as well. So, what I am going to do is basically make an artwork um, and uh, if you want to you can stop this video, you can press pause, um, you can rewind it and play bits again. Um, hopefully it's so straightforward that you won't need to do that. Um, you might want to go away and get yourself a cup of tea or some materials, things like that. So anyway, feel free to stop and pause and rewind or whatever um, and we'll get on with this activity. So it's, it's quite an easy thing to do and basically you start off with a sheet of paper. This, this is an A3 sheet of paper which is quite large. Uh, you could use just an A4 size. Here's one I did earlier. It's, this is actually a printout, but it's a collage that I did. So this is my name, Janie. Um, and usually as an icebreaker, what I do is get everybody to do this artwork using their own name. So um, quite often during projects, when I start off working with people, they'll say to me that they can't draw or, you know, quite understandably, they might be really uncomfortable picking up a pencil, it might be a long time since they've done that kind of thing and they think they can't draw but everybody can write their own name so that's a really good starting point for this activity. So um, basically we just need paper, pencil, some pencils have got rubber on the end, if not if you can find yourself a rubber you might feel more confident, you can rub out lines. Um, also things like glue sticks, um, you can also use sellotape, but actually a glue stick, like a print stick, uh, is actually really handy. Um, materials that I want to use today are things like tissue paper or uh, old um, bags, like gift bags, uh, wrapping paper, and quite often for projects I go to um, a shop, I better not name names, but I shop in town and just collect uh, interesting wrapping paper. So here, this is quite psychedelic. Um, all sorts of kind of designs you get. Maybe st stay clear of the ones that are specifically for Christmas. Um, but yeah, you get all sorts of um, fancy wrapping papers. Quite often they've got flower designs or animals. These have got fish, um, hummingbirds, what else? Many, many different flowers, ferns, all sorts of things. Oh, bees as well. So, yeah, interesting wrapping paper. And, uh, yeah, and if, you, if you don't have things like that, you can often get things like, um, this is called Crafty Bits and Bobs, and I've just accumulated a whole load of extra stuff as well. But it's just basically offcuts in a packet. You can quite often get things like that in craft shops. Um, other things you can use are pens. These are just... Um, quite easy to get colour pens, chunky markers and I've got some oil pastels which um, people seem to quite like using actually. So all sorts of lovely colours there to use. So, so basically just getting on with this, um, the first thing to do is to draw your name. So sounds uh, extremely easy. It's uh, amazing how many times I've done this and uh, I end up drawing my name and running out of space. So the idea with this is to write your name as big as you can um, and fill the whole sheet. So I'm just going to do that now. And do nice big thick letters. As large as you like. And I am uh, trying very hard not to overshoot and make them too big, because that is always the danger. So yeah, I've, I've, I've done this one too big. <laughs> so I am now uh, backtracking slightly. 
So my name is only five letters. Uh, some people with very complicated names might have more trouble with this, so you might want to use a, a shortened version of your name. You might, of course, want to write the longer version of your name, which is fine as well. So, okay. And yes, it's incredible how, how much room your, your actual name can take up when you're trying to fit it all in one page. So this is where having a rubber at the end, end of your pencil comes in very handy. So you can, um, yeah, redraw the letters and rub bits out that you don't like. So I'm rubbing out quite a few of these lines, I think, because I've kind of made a mess of it. But that's okay. These things happen. So, yeah, when you're doing this, um, you can basically go over... You're, you're, what you're going to do is you're going to, co going to cover over all of these lines anyway, so it doesn't really matter if you make a mess of it. And your lines are really just for guidance, they're guidelines. So there, I've managed to cram in J A N I E on this one sheet of paper. Occasionally I've done this and I've, I've just ended up uh, adding an extra bit of paper and uh, making it an even longer artwork rather than a rescaling everything. Sometimes that works as well. Okay, so basically I've drafted in my the letters of my name and as you can see it's not the neatest thing I've ever done in my life. But that's okay, I'm okay with that. So what we're going to do is start using the glue stick and tissue paper and anything, any of the other um, uh, wrapping paper or anything else that you've got that you want to decorate your name with. So the idea here is really just to get rid of all the, just basically cover over the whole of the, the paper. And you, you're wanting to do it as, as kind of um, decoratively as you like as kind of jazzy as you like. Um, so when I'm doing this, I just feel like you might as well just feel your way and just do it as intuitively as you like. So just kind of follow your nose and see what happens. This is part of the actual, I suppose, the fun of what you're doing. You can be quite kind of spontaneous and quite reactive. And there's no right way and there's no wrong way. There's definitely no wrong way of doing this. So every time I've done it, and I'm, I must admit I've done this with loads and loads of people, um, everybody does a different, has a different outcome. Everybody tackles this in a different way, so that's part of what is nice about this activity. It's also a really good way of, for me, as someone who works with a lot of people, it's actually a really good way of me getting to know people and getting to know their names. So obviously people are doing a picture of their actual name. Uh, I'm never going to get their name wrong when I'm talk talking to them, which is quite a good, quite a good thing in a way. And yeah, people can get get to know themselves quite, get to know each other quite quickly and feel comp confident uh, that they know their name and not not feel that that's something they're going to forget, which is quite good. So yep. So at the moment, I'm just sticking on tissue paper and just kind of seeing what happens. So I could be doing this with scissors, but I think with tissue paper, it's something that you can do. You can just tear. It's quite easy just to tear. It's actually quite good fun doing it that way. So I'm just going to keep working on away on this and see how it develops. I might actually start putting in some flowers. So this rather fancy looking um, wrapping paper here is got lots of almost kind of embossed flowers on them so, so this is almost like a ready-made that you can use so what I tend to do here is use the scissors and if you're using scissors these are quite sharp so um, if you're just careful that you don't cut your own fingers obviously I'm not with you so I can't supervise so yeah you just have to be careful make sure you don't, don't cut yourself Something quite uh, therapeutic about cutting takes you back to your childhood, I think. So anyway, 
and just cutting out this rather lovely pink flower. So I'm just starting to think where can I put this on. So the way I've drawn my uh, the letters of my name, there's not an awful lot of space round about. So depending on what you're using, you could use a uh, PVA glue. So some people like using that, which is obviously more of a kind of liquid kind of glue. But I find, um, especially when you're working with groups, a, a glue stick is probably the best thing for this kind of activity. So the idea is just to get things stuck on and you might want to, at the end of this, you might want to laminate your picture. So you don't want things to be too, too chunky or too sort of multi-layered. Um, you might not want to laminate the picture. Not everybody's got a laminator. And unfortunately, because of this lockdown, my lamin laminating machine is actually down at my studio. So even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be able to laminate this picture. Which is unfortunate. So, anyway. anyway, it's quite nice to be working at your own kitchen table. So yeah, you've got to got to find the silver linings despite the, the the current circumstances. I find. So yeah, just getting some more tissue paper on there. So, so you can. Some people do this really fast, some people might take a lot lot longer. Some people get really into it and can do things that are quite intricate. Some people might just say, okay, I'm just going to colour this in and, you know, use pens or something and just do it quite quickly. But yeah, most most people I find tend to um, quite enjoy the very kind of hands-on way of working doing this. So that's good. So using the glue stick, you can get a bit. Uh, it can get a bit sticky. So you can always go and wash your hands if you if you feel like you've got got too much glue on your fingers. Some people don't like that feeling, and you can just go and wash your hands. So yeah, just gradually building up this picture. So what I'm doing is using the the lines that I drew earlier, just as a kind of guide. And not worrying about them too much because as I said before there's no actual right way of doing this there's no wrong way there's no right way which is quite a good philosophy for life I think <laughs> it's the doing it that uh, is the important thing so yeah what I'm doing here is just building up color and tissue paper is quite nice because you can actually um, build up layers of color um, obviously because the tissue paper is quite transparent, so um, the colours that you, you uh, use when you put other colours on top, obviously, I'm just going to put some pink on here, pink on top of yellow, you get a kind of yellowy pink. <laughs> um, anyway, you can, you, you can build up quite nice effects that way. Mm -hmm. So again, it's all. This is a very kind of hands-on, but there's something quite nice about it. Quite, it's very kind of basic. It's not complicated. You know, it's not too sophisticated a way of working. It's very hands-on, but it is. It does feel quite good, I think, for tearing and sticking and cutting things up. Quite therapeutic, which I think maybe maybe we all need a bit of therapy under these circumstances. Just just do something that's really um, quite easy and uh, creative Oops. and enjoyable so yep here we are so yeah just a wee bit more tissue paper and uh, do some stripes so yeah as I was saying just follow your nose really when you're doing this and see how that goes, just see what happens. Okay, so we're a wee bit further on, we're a wee bit further on now, and I have just used mostly t tissue paper here. You can probably make out my name a bit, a bit clearer, maybe not too clear, anyway, it's looking quite arty. So now what I would intend to do is to use a marker pen of some sort, and actually this one's a bit dried up, 
uh, maybe a sharpie, something like a sharpie, and actually start going around the letters so that you can actually um, see them a bit better and define them a bit more. You can either do this now or you can do this further on when you're feeling a bit more finished. But it just actually helps you to um, make the letters a bit clearer so they start to really kind of take shape. You can try with different types of pens. So I'm going to try the chunky markers. So like nice deep blue there. There we are. That goes on quite nicely. Fill that in a bit. And also at this stage you might want to uh, start filling in your letters a bit more. So I've kind of done the background with the tissue paper and what I'm going to do now is cut up some more flowers, add some flowers and maybe some other of the different shapes, different things that are on the wrapping paper. See what else I've got. Um, there's quite nice heart shapes there. So all these little things you can start to, like I was saying before, they're kind of like ready-mades. So they're quite nice just to kind of add into your decoration. So on this bag there's quite nice daisy shapes. So I cut some they're quite shiny. I don't know if you can see that, quite sparkly. Uh, so all these kind of things are like ready-made flowers that you can just cut out and uh, add into your picture. And uh, add a bit of colour and a bit of, a bit of glamour, a bit of, um, a bit of glitz. Quite nice. So I'll get a few of these on and generally just jazz things up a bit. Quite good to make use of these things. We uh, we tend to collect all the bag, the kind of gift bags we get given, and uh, they end up just sitting in a cupboard. So it's actually quite good to um, to make use of them. Bit of recycling and uh, reusing. But yeah. So quite nice to add in here. So again, these kind of ready-made multiple kind of images you can make use of. So just add them in as tiny little details, add them into your picture. So that's very fancy. Again, I just tend to follow my nose with this kind of thing, so you might want to cut them out individually or you might want to create a sort of pattern. So there's a, a row of hearts that you could use. There's another row, so you could add them in or cut them up. Add them into your design. So maybe start putting them in some there. So yeah, so hopefully um, if you're doing this at the same time as me, maybe your picture is starting to take shape a bit. Some, sometimes you can actually spend quite a long time doing these kind of things. It's it's kind of activity that you could spend an hour doing. Um, Obviously, as I said before, some people will do it much faster. Some people are really quick at this kind of thing. Maybe they'll just use crayons and maybe just, you know, quickly colour it in. But, um, yeah, a lot of people actually get quite into this. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite therapeutic. Which is a good thing, I think. Yes, indeed. There's some nice butterflies. These are always quite popular. So I'll get a few of these on, I think. And... Uh, just generally jazz it up. So you can cut these out and again you, do, you don't have to be too careful about what you're doing. You can, um, they, they generally look pretty good even if you spend a long time cutting each thing out or not. Um, yeah. You don't have to worry about it too much. But yeah, as you can see this is all starting to take shape a bit. Oops, there we go that.
Hopefully we're good. Quite good. So when I'm doing this, I don't worry about too much about things being, you know, completely accurate. You can be as kind of carefree as you like. Um, not worry about, you know, sticking within the lines. Um, because basically, whatever you do, you're going to do your outlines after you've finished. So that works quite well. That will kind of unify everything. So here we are at the moment. You can see how that's coming on. And so, yeah, I've, I've mostly used um, tissue paper, uh, the wrapping paper with stars, some of the bags, some nice fish shapes, a paisley pattern, and some flowers. So, yeah, just just using a whole variation of things. Um, I'm not worrying about it too much. See how the picture kind of builds up. This is where we're at at the moment, so starting to get there with this picture. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I've cut up some strips of this to do my N letter because these are quite straightforward, hopefully. Um, and I'm just going to glue, glue these on quite quickly. And then what I might do is use some crayons to go around this or maybe some permanent marker pens. So again, just kind of play it by ear, see how it feels, see what it looks like. Um, there's no real wrong way, no real right way of doing this. So yeah, when I was preparing this today, uh, when I was thinking about what I would do today, um, I was thinking this, this could be a nice way of um, making an artwork to put in your window. Um, so you could, rather than doing your name, you could um, do a, an image. So a lot of people at the moment are doing rainbows. So it'd be quite nice to do a rim, rainbow, oops, rainbow shape. Um, so to do that, you would just um, maybe organize your colors in different stripes and do a rainbow that way. Or you could use a word like hope or something. One of these kind of words that is very much kind of uh, I suppose in people's minds at the moment, the idea that we're living through quite a, a difficult time, but in a way it's quite nice to give messages to everybody who's passing your window or other people who are, are walking by and yeah, might be quite a nice way of expressing yourself. But anyway, there's there's Janie. It's not quite finished. I'll maybe do a wee bit more to it. So again you can cut these as as neatly or as casually as you actually as you feel like. Um, it's kind of up to you. Um, if you think an image, like the thing you're cutting out is too big, then you can just trim it down a bit, cut bits off, whatever you feel like. You're the boss. Which I think is quite a good feeling, really. It's your picture. And you can make it any way you like. So yeah, you're the boss of your own picture. There we are. But yeah, these, um, these flowers are actually really quite lovely. To have some flowers. Remind us of the great outdoors. I think a lot of people are missing the great outdoors at the moment. So anyway, yeah, get some flowers in there. Cheer us all up. There we go. So yeah, this is looking starting to look quite jazzy, quite psychedelic maybe. So yeah, maybe another flowers from this sheet. So yeah, sometimes it feels a bit sacrilegious almost to be um, cutting out these, the um, the wrapping paper. Um, we're, we're so used to um, giving people presents and you know it's good to have really nice wrapping paper. It can feel quite um, like you're sabotaging a good sheet of paper when you start cutting into it, but then actually you just get used to it and think actually these are really nice kind of raw materials to be using. And uh, yeah, it's good to get get snipping. There we are. Just going to hold that arm's length again. And when you look at it, not bad, not bad, it's getting there. So, yep, you see that, hopefully. So, when I do this um, activity, it's something that is actually quite nice for people in, in 
particularly in care homes because they can um, use these to decorate their, the doors of their bedrooms. So you could use this and you could either laminate it or you could have it photographed, use a camera, take a photograph of it and then print it out and make a wee door sticker. Um, or other things that you can do with this are you can actually get them printed up as um, onto mugs or you could get other things done. Nowadays you can get things printed onto almost anything. So you could get a t-shirt printed with the person's name on it or the, the other things that you could do are you could um, have things like coasters made and these kind of practical things. You could get a jigsaw made of it. All these kind of things that you can do with different kind of print things. So yeah, once people can get out and about and get um, ordering things online, you might even be able to do that just now. But these are quite nice um, artworks to actually use and make useful kind of items. So they're kind of like customised items for people. So yeah, I'm just going to get a bit more glue on here and then I think this will be nearly finished. And uh, hopefully this has been an interesting way of working for you. As you can see, it's kind of like organised chaos. But again, as we were saying earlier on, it's, it can actually feel quite therapeutic. Just doing some really hands-on, using scissors, cutting things out, a bit of glue, a bit of craning or pens, and doing something that isn't too tricky for anybody. We can all do it. And yeah, you end up with quite a nice picture at the end of it. So, yeah, I've actually got a few pictures here from other residents in a care home that did these earlier. And here we have Janet. We have Charlie. We have Anne. Edna. Jean. And this one's Beth. So yeah, just a just an example of people using very similar materials but doing different different interpretations of this kind of activity. Okay, that's the activity done for today. I hope you've enjoyed that. And um, yeah, I think the main thing is just to remember it's good to be creative. Uh, it's an enjoyable thing to do and it's not too taxing, not too complicated and you can feel quite confident um, that you're doing something um, yeah, that is really enjoyable. Hope to see you again soon and take care out there. Okay, bye!